Hello guys, it's Wolfios here, and I am back with West of Loathing, and today we'll just be continuing doing what we were doing, which I do not remember. So, uh, let's ask Gary. Um, okay, so, we have to get to the Goblin Village, uh, what do you think we should do next? Bang sticks, uh, so we need dynamite for the train, and, you know, English, which apparently I'm not all that good at as evidence from past videos, but unimportant. Uh, any other ideas? Um, cause yeah, we can either get it from Dynamite Dan or the Goblins. Uh, promise that guy at Lazy Dude Ranch I'll get him an old style military cap from Fort Alden. Uh, five chunks of vibrato scrap. Oh, that's all I've got. Okay, let's try this guy. Hello again, very happy, remembering fun riddling times with you. Hello and yes, thanks. You being welcome here every time, except not past here, we're standing. Oh, okay, I guess I'm, I don't get to do that. Hmm. Alright, do we have the dynamite, Dan, dynamite yet? How did I buy your year's supply of dynamite? No, I still don't have enough money. So I need a cap from Fort Alden. Alright, head on in. He doesn't seem to notice you. Pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, sorry. No force in the universe can get this tarp off the crate. Crates are decorative. Cannons. Trash smells terrible. Dig through it. No way, not without stench resistance. Uh, okay, that's normal in a military. Uh, this mass grave is absolutely teeming with those skeletal riflemen. They don't seem to be interested in getting out, but you could definitely jump in there if you were itching for a fight. There's one in the end of the pit nearest you. Uh, hop in, I guess. Ooh, that is rather, um... He's actually rather strong. This is fine. I forgot how busted Gary- Why is Gary the most powerful character in the game? Hmm, okay, yeah, so nothing there. Um, somebody left their knapsack behind. Uh, dig through the knapsack. Wait, what's this? A note? Yes, it's a note. Cryptic note about ley lines. Also, evil-looking leather-bound tome. Ooh, fundamentals of next max. Last thing is a little diary, which you decide to leave in there in case the owner comes back looking for it. Read it. Seems to be a, seems to have been written by one of the necromancer's cultists. He and several others were reanimating the dead soldiers here, on the theory that the best undead army would be a literal undead army. The hitch in the plan came when they raised the officers who decided they weren't going to take orders from a bunch of weirdo civilians. The last entry suggests the authors and its cohorts were planning on abandoning their station and reporting back to the necromancer. But the entry ends abruptly in the middle of a sentence. Hmm. No name on the stone, no name, no name. There's a patch of pepperoni mold. Okay. That's neat. Anyway, let's read this real quick. This seems like it's probably dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? Yes. Are you certain? The dark arts are no laughing matter. This could really mess you up. I put my hand into a spittoon. I don't think some weird words are going to scare me off. Uh, the words crawl off the page and into your eyes like worms. The worms burrow into your bones and then whisper stuff to you about cool things you can do with other people's bones. As you turn over the last page, the book vanishes in a puff of black smoke. Oh, uh, my hair lost all its color. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't creepy at all. Hmm, cryptic note. Examine the weird note, but you can't make heads or tails of it. You stick it into your necromancer journal uh, as of now. Hmm. Yes, forgot about all that. Anyway, where do I find a cab? Mess hall? Okay, well that isn't it. Nope, neither is that. Must swim to the kitchen, where all hats are. Hmm, dried eyeballs. Crusted oyster shells, puri dandruff, I read one of those wrong. Creamed eyeballs and soda, dried brains, okay, lovely. That isn't where I'm going to get a hat, though. 
I need a hat. Would there be one in the bathroom? No. The uh, table is a model of the region. Giant map of the region. Uh, you climb up the watch tower and take a look around. Nice view. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, I think we just... Can we get one from just fighting the skeletons over and over? Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't odd at all. Hey, it didn't actually one-shot kill him this time. Hmm. Okay, that move does not do as much as I would like. Now, can I use that whole resurrect thing? No, I can't. Shame. Ah, old patrol cap. There we go. Okay, what else do we have? Hmm, nothing. Okay. Um, oh yes, the circus. Forgot we have to go do that. Um... Uh, oh, where did I say? Oh, Lazy Dude Ranch. Uh, there's a crate lying in the dust of the trail. As a pickaxe then styled on the side, but it isn't clear if that's to indicate contents, destination, or opening instructions. Oh uh, yeah, I'll pry the lid off. Uh, can of oil, thermos of spiked coffee, smelling salts, blood building, tonic, smelling salts, and a bottom of laudanum. Assuming that's a type of beer. Anywho, Lazy Dude Ranch. What's in here? Oh, hey again, looking for her little remedies? No. Do you find one of those old army hats, man? I'll trade you. Uh, yes. Nice, man. Barter is like commerce, man, except natural. Can you dig it? Uh, groovy. Apparently. Strange head sack. Oh, cool. Um. That gives me more muscle for some reason. Uh, do you know s somewhere that's hiring a baker? Heck, even unpaid would be better than this if it comes with a room and board. I just want to get out of here. I don't, sorry. Shucks. Well, if you hear anything, please let me know. Okay. And then let's... I think there... I think you can't actually get her hired in dirt water. So we'll head down, sell everything, and see if we can grab her a job. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Here's the store. Hello there. Um, what do I want to sell? Nope, uh, don't want to get rid of that. Uh, electric snake skin? Oh, no, I don't want to get rid of that either. All this stuff is pretty good, actually. Except these. And, uh... Hmm. Oh. Why does everything have value here? Hmm. Can of oil. We can sell. Hmm. Do I even need weak fungicide anymore? Hmm. Oh, I, uh, no, we don't want to sell that either. Yeah, okay, we actually apparently need everything here. Um, wait, that's the wrong way. I need to head back. Where was I going again? No idea. Just wondering the same thing myself. Um, ah, yes, kitchen. I ain't got nothing else for you to do. If you want some of my world-famous slop, you can buy some just like everybody else out in the saloon. Okay, then. I guess I can't. Yeah. Forgot how to walk. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um. 
Would Snake Pit Mine have anything? I doubt it, but it might be worth a shot. Oh, uh, Silversmith's house. House. Yeah. Why'd I butcher that? Um, Silver Bullet Making Apparatus. Help yourself. Help yourself. Um, I don't have anything silver to make into bullets. I can make needles with a silver bullet. Uh, no. Uh, door is locked. Pick the lock. A spittoon. At least it looks like a spittoon. But it's next to the bed. It might actually be a bedpan. Investigate. What? Really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough. But if it might be a bedpan, and that would be way worse. Well, tell me if it's a bedpan or not. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that someone probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is, maybe, they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into, in which case it's only full of rancid, congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I, are you even listening to me? Or are you just sort of skimming past the text? Bedpan. <laughs> hmm, I'm pretty sure there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. Bedpan. Shut up, I'm investigating. Okay, fine. Have it your own way. Your own filthy, disgusting way. It turns out to probably not be a bedpan, but it is definitely a spittoon. And it is definitely filled with rotting brown spit. Perfect. What is wrong with you? Several things. Oh, good God. Okay. You plunge your hand in, in up to the wrist. It makes a glob noise and breaks the thin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell and relative check. Now you're choking in a miasma of oily, bitter chaw stink. You know that feeling you get when you're about to puke? How you get that taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth? That metallic tang on the roof of your tongue like you're sucking on an old corroded penny? Don't know how you know what that would taste like, but okay. Yeah, you found a filthy, slime-covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're going to put it on without even washing it first. Maybe I will. Depends on the stats. Oh yeah, that's just ten times better than a replica. Ah, so much better. I'm really getting my character's outfit set. Trembed. Silversmith must have been a bachelor. Or half with a guy with a half what with spouse. Jeez. Bookshelf contains like 90 copies of Johnny Tremaine. There's something weird about it, though. It's too neatly organized. Like, maybe the guy was hiding something. Okay, I've got enough. He was crooked. The silver smell... The silver smell? What is this silver smell? The silversmith was selling cheap fakes. Oh, well, he's gone now, and so are most of his customers. No sense in stirring up trouble at this point. You write down the location of the shop. Might come in handy. Silver platter. Alright, that works. Shelf looks pretty picked over. Search. Okay, some things that still look edible. Oh. There's a note on the safe reading. I forgot the darn combination to this confounded thing. If you can open it, you're welcome to what's in it. Looks like a tricky one. Yeah, no. <laughs> I do not know how to crack a safe. I did not get that book. Hmm. Anywho. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, snake bit mine. I really want one whole video of uh, braided fuses sticking out of a nearby rock. Uh, somebody drilled a hole in the rock and inserted a bunch of dynamite, but apparently lost interest and wandered away without setting it off. Or maybe they were just out of matches. Okay. Grab the dynamite. But yeah, I really want a whole episode dedicated to the circus. Exposed meat vein. I don't have a pickaxe. You look at the mining equipment. You have no idea what any of it does. Explain it to Gary. Hey, Gary. What? I just wanted to tell you about this mining stuff. Um, okay. So this first machine here, this is an automatic, uh, coke. Powderer. Gary stares at you blankly. <laughs> Move on to the next machine. And this thing over here, this thing is used to extract brittle slate, hard pyrite, or seismic sandstone. That sounds scientific. Seismic sandstone, and then liquefy it. Gary sighs. I must keep going, though. And this third machine, this is a a columnar meat by Furcater. An acreheated kerf cutter, or an adulterated ore measurer. Eh, sure, that looks mining enough. It converts deposit into unrefined silver. 
brilliant. That somehow makes it worse. Uh, Rebel into Crystalline Peat. Or Rock into Black Methane. Uh, Rebel into Crystalline Peat. You got a perk. Mind Splainer. Gary Grins. Now to finishing. Yes. Brilliant. What does that give me? Oops, I'm not gonna find that there. You're a real expert. You'll gain XP when you interact with mining stuff. Okay. Alright, into the mine. You can see a snake coiled up in a little hole. Pull it out and punch it. That is an animal abuse in the slightest. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, I can just kill it in one hit. Nice work dispatching that snake. Uh, okay. Uh, cart is overflowing with rubble. Hey, I gained 58 meat. And got some experience because of that mind splainer perk. Alright, jump on the snake. That was easy. You really smoked that snake. I mean, you didn't smoke it like you'd smoke a true. You just smoked it figuratively. Yes. Uh, cache of mining supplies. Perfect. What's in here? Den is full of snake eggs. Uh, uh, um. Well, this kind of feels just bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, this isn't questionable at all. We're gonna spawn a goblin grunt. Ah, oh, no, they hatched. Well, this is. This isn't good. Sure would. Oh, never mind. Oh no. Okay, well, um. Hmm. Yeah, this works. I mean, I'm not in any real danger. I just kind of figured I could take them all out next round. But, oh well. Nice work dispatching those snakes. There's not enough skin on any of them to be worth collecting. I wonder why. Ooh, pickaxe. Pick it up. Okay, that was really bad. Uh. Exposed meat vein. Mine it. And mine splaining bonus. Hooray. So glad I mine splained everything to Gary. Anyway, back over to the meat vein here. Perfect. Alright, now we can go sell it. And probably at Dynamite Dance. I think he could give us money. Oh. You encounter a bandit who doesn't look very bandit-like due to a, the lab coat and slider rule holster. Fortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat, otherwise you might not have been able to tell. Alright, Buster, this is a stick-up. Hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you out and leave instead? Ha, I'd like to see you try, because I've invented an anti-punching ring, and that would help me test it. Punch her really hard. Okay. Well, okay, I mean, punching things is kind of my whole shtick, actually. Really? Great, go ahead. Give me a good one. You wind up and launch your best haymaker. You do, in fact, feel some resistance as your fist nears her head, but you power through it and knock her sprawling. Ow, dang. Jeez, okay, looks like it's back to the drawing board. Help her up. Here, you can keep this stupid defective thing. She dusts herself off, tosses, the ri tosses you the ring, and slouches away, rubbing her jaw. Oh, hey. Looks like she dropped her wallet when she fell down, too. Ah, yes, yeah, such a gentleman move of me. Punch a girl and then keep her wallet for myself. Brilliant. Anyway. Uh, year's supply of dynamite. Perfect. Alright, and what does that thing even do? Nasty ring. Oh, meh. It's not that good. Not compared to the ring I got from the spittoon. Alright, and then I think I can head to the railroad camp. Alright. Snake my way along here. Or, actually, what type of snake moves like this? Any luck finding a year supply of dynamite? Passengers are getting restless. Yep, here we go. Good, perfect, this'll do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges and I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults with the other workers, and they inspect the rocks for a time. Eventually, one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks, and wires up a detonator. Alright, let her rip. Wait up, uh, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. 
Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give me a, ca a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. Thanks, I can tell you're really concerned for my safety. What the holy heck is that thing? Hmm. There is a very large and very angry looking thing, guy, standing here. Apparently it's a little peeved at having a year's supply of dynamite blown up next to its butt while it was sleeping. How are you going to handle this? Uh, pulverize it? 20 muscle. You crack your knuckles, take a deep breath, and aim your strongest haymaker at the rock monster. Your punch blows open a fracture caused by the dynamite, ca and the cascading fault lines crisscross the creature's surface. With a roar of anger and pain, it explodes into fine gravel. Heck yeah, welcome to the gun show. Um... I didn't use a gun, though. Well, that was a bit lackluster. Okay. Um. Well, now, that is a fine state. Fine at... Ugh, I can't English. Well, now, that is as fine a day's work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of this track laid down and head out now. Here, I'll mark our route on, the ma on your map for you in case our has happened to cross again. Manifest Destiny Railroad Company Camp. Thanks, but can't I just ride the train? Got a ticket? Ha, just kidding. Of course you don't. Every seat on this train sold. Uh, sorry boss. Hmm. Oh, okay. Remains of your triumph over that crazy rock pile slash guy. Alright. Well then. Um... Yeah, uh, I think that's going to actually be it for this video, because uh, we've almost completely cleared out this area. There might be a couple things left, but I really do want to dedicate a whole nother video to the circus. So uh, I'm actually going to end the video here. So um, if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. If you didn't, comment down below what I can do better, and I will see you guys in the next video.